Welcome to our introduction to decentralized digital identity. To begin, let's look at what we mean by identity. Identity consists of a unique identifier plus credentials. To see how that works, meet Archie. In the physical world, Archie's identifier, his face, fingerprints or signature belongs to him. It's not given to him by the government or any external organization. Archie builds his identity by adding credentials from trusted entities, like his government ID card, university degree, bank or membership cards, and all the things that make Archie Archie. These are under his control and he can decide with whom, where and when he shares them. Let's see how this works in the physical world. Archie wants to buy a bottle of whiskey, so he heads to the best whiskey shop in town, Mary's. Because he looks young for his age, Mary wants to be sure he's legally old enough to buy a bottle. Archie opens his wallet and chooses one of his credentials to prove his date of birth. Mary can see his photo matches his face, his identifier. She trusts the entity that issued the card and can see the verification that it's an official credential. It shows that he's legally old enough to buy the whiskey and the credential is still valid. So she knows she can happily sell him his bottle of whiskey and the government that issued the ID card doesn't need to know every time Archie uses it to buy alcohol. So in the physical world, identity is decentralized, under your control, secure, privacy-preserving and scalable. In the digital world, the current system of identity is broken. When Archie goes to buy his whiskey from Mary's online shop, he has to go through a third party, create his identity using an identifier issued to him by others, and there's no direct connection between Archie and Mary. His identity is held in a central database, not under his control. This also means that his information is at risk of being hacked and can be used for profiling, tracking or sold for profit. It could even be switched off by the identity provider. So in the current digital world, identity is centralized, not under your control, not secure, not private and not scalable since you often have to create a new identity for each site or service you log into. But now there is an alternative. Thanks to blockchain we can transfer the features of identity in the physical world to the digital world. Once again, identity consists of an identifier plus credentials. An identity in the decentralized world begins with a wallet installed on your device. Here you can generate your unique decentralized identifier, your DID or digital fingerprint. It is owned by you and controlled by you. And since you generate it on your own device, just like a physical fingerprint, it's not given to you by any government or entity. Your DID looks like a string of numbers and letters. It's secured by cryptography with a private and public part. The private part is your signature, protected by password on your device, under your control. You use it to sign for things you choose to do. The public part lets others identify you. When it's anchored to the blockchain, no one else can take your DID from you or turn it off, making it immutable and secure. You can also give it a unique, easily readable Web3 name, like Archie, as long as no other Archie has claimed it first. And just like the physical world, you can build your identity by adding credentials. For example, you can go to a trusted provider and request a credential that shows your age. Once the attester has checked that the information you sent is correct and meets the attestation requirements, you will receive a credential in your wallet. A hash of the credential is anchored to the killed blockchain. In this way, the issuer can revoke it later if the information is no longer true. Note, your private information is never stored publicly on the blockchain. You can add as many credentials as you like to build your identity. The issuer never knows what you do with them, they are not stored centrally. And they stay under your control on your device. You can decide how much of the information they contain to share and who you share them with. 
So just like the physical world, you have your unique identifier and your credentials in your wallet. So now when Archie goes to Mary's whiskey shop, there's no middleman. He can interact directly with Mary via a web app on her site. When Archie shares his information with her, Mary can check Archie's digital fingerprint or Web3 name and knows it's really Archie. She can see it's a credential from a provider that she trusts. Can see the verification that it's an official credential. Can see via the content Archie shares that he is legally old enough to buy her whiskey. And that the credential is still valid and hasn't been revoked. So Mary knows she can sell a bottle of whiskey to Archie. Just like the physical world, here digital identity is decentralized, under your control, secure, privacy preserving and scalable. That was an overview about how Kilt works. Now watch our demo videos to continue building your decentralized digital identity.